It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted. They expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. First play, and Young is going to throw it. The connecting here with D.J. Shark. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play, and a quick first down. But it feels like a red man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Tackle made there by the UCF man, Mike Hughes. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing, Young. Steps away to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They set a load a big way there. They lost double-digit yards on that sack. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. 
Young. Sanders has it over the middle. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Avery Williams deep for Atlanta. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So a long field ahead for the Falcon offense as they head out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader, teams went 43 and 6 while he was in college, has speed, dual threat ability, and the production off the charts while he was in school, and also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 13. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Following the interception, Young. He'll find Thielen working the middle. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. Now here's Young. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. back to the 10 they'll try on second and goal here young now sharks got it left side that time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal oh it's time to give real credit there to the defense they played that very well because it was a drag route and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field he was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line but once he made the catch Nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Young with it, third and goal. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. 
Eddie Pinheiro on now. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all the way up just shy of midfield before going out of bounds at the 49. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. They'll look to throw again. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh. He just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They're going to look to throw. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll drop to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Falcons. Cordero Patterson. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. Things like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions <laughs> like that? But a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look, and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you can have at that position. And sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. To throw, Young. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Young to throw it. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now back to throw. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And they'll work this down inside the 30. It's not quibble about the game there on second down. That's a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary now on third. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. 
Oh, look at the juke. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there's another first down run right there. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Another run here with Sanders. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Young to throw it. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Young on third down. Caught on the slant. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Sanders slipped one tackle but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down that's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense Second and goal. Young. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. DJ Chark, a one yard touchdown reception. And the Panthers are able to move back in front. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. To the touchdown. Here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So out come the Falcons now. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. 
they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's second and eight. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw again. This pass is caught by London. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Out of the gun, a run with Patterson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Back to throw here. Looking there for picks, but intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And the Panthers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Young looks to throw on first down. Over the middle, he's got Chanel. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down.
Young. From left side on target to feel him. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now a first down throw for Young. This is Chenault on the receiving end. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Young. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. First downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Looking to throw, Young. Forced out to his, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Lorenzo Carter, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow them a chance to throw the ball downfield. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now here's Young. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. Nifty running there, but it will come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for Carolina. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they, too, didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. From out of his end zone, it's Avery Williams. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And the Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll set up a throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. He'll look to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Here's Smith to return it. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and it will be the Panthers' ball, first and ten. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. down on the other side of midfield at the 43. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down throw for Young. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. From the 36, Young. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 15-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. To the air once more, Young. Over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A 
Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Here's Young. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Chark, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it's DJ Chark who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taking it about the one on the return, Williams. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Into the hands of London. And he's got Rome. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Henry Anderson, big man from Stanford, there for the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarter. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is will he be able to bounce back in the next one because right now, this has not been his game. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Thank you. 
So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. Koo knocks this one through the post. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Throwing, Young. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Young will set to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Brandon, how about that reaction there from the defensive end? Able to recognize the screen pass trying to happen. Broke off his pass rush, and then get back to tackle the running back. That's a very athletic and intelligent play. Reminds me of you working out and seeing that the treadmill's open and getting there before anyone else. See, I know you're just patronizing me right now. Everybody knows <laughs> at home that that is nothing but a shot at me, and I'll take it, absorb it, and we'll move on. Young's throw taken in by Chark. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. To throw Young. That is caught by Thielen. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. On first and ten it's Sanders and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I think what we just saw there partner was linebacking speed 
that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Young. Connection made with Chennault. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 28. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Fields it right around the goal line. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Kadero Hodge has it complete, and he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Second down and a run by Robinson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And this is going to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. 
They'll run for it with Robinson. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Give running left. It's Sanders. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. Brent, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers. Fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one, but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I should just say, it is easier said than done, but that's where you may be buried at his feet. Make sure he doesn't catch it. Great, job. great call right there. Put it near the receiver. No grounding, nothing like that, but no one gets a chance to pick it off either. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Panthers. D.J. Chark, 26 yards. And the Panthers are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football, he's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 19-yard line. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll set up to throw. That's caught left side to tight end Pitts. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
Ritter on target to Pitts for a Falcon first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for not. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw again. Got his man. It's London. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle complete. That's Miller. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Second and four. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And we talked so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted.